Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to be doing another Will I Buy It video. I'm going to show you a bunch of new products that will be coming out very soon and tell you whether or not I am interested in them. I'm super excited to get started with today's video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and let's go ahead and get started. As per usual, most of these pictures I'm getting from the Trendmood Instagram account and you see the account at the top of the picture. And let's get started with Desi. Desi Skin, to be specific, not the sunglasses. And Desi is coming out with the Aqua Fresca Thirst Quenching Gel Cream Moisturizer. It has this fabulous bone color packaging because it's not quite cream and it's not quite white and this might be the first skin product that i am truly interested in because before this she's come out with like a face mist that i'm kind of scared of because i think it might have vitamin c in it and i do not react well to it and a vitamin c serum which again sensitive skin over here but now she's coming out with a moisturizer i like that it's a gel cream moisturizer i don't Think I've ever tried one of those before or if I have I certainly do not realize that it's a gel cream formula and so anyways this looks really nice and promising I love the type of packaging where you like press down and like a pump comes up on the packaging because I feel like it's very sanitary you don't have to like dig your finger in a jar Plus, for the looks of it, it gives this really nice radiance to the face. This one came out on their website on April 7th. So if you want it, it is already available. I am very interested in it, but right now I don't need a new moisturizer. So I think I'm just going to like leave it on the back of my mind for like in the future when I run out of my moisturizer. If I want to try something new, this might be something that I want to try. But for right now, I am not buying it. However, I'm definitely intrigued by it. Next, we have this stunning rose palette right here. It is from Artist Couture and it is called the Supreme Mauves Palette. First of all, I live for this type of packaging from Artist Couture in their palettes. It is so nice and so sleek and I love mauve pinky shades. So I'm all about this color story. I do think I'm going to buy this one, but I'm going to wait till I come back from vacation to make that decision because I feel like by then maybe more palettes have come out that I'm more interested in. If I were not to be going on vacation, I would for sure be purchasing it to make a video and reviewing it and all of that but because I'm not going to be here for a while I'm not sure or I might just wait to like get it in a haul and like try it along with like a bunch of other products don't worry at some point this palette will for sure be mine I'm just not sure exactly when it is that I'm going to buy it but I really like the formulas that I've tried from Artist Couture I really love the type of packaging that this palette comes in and it looks really beautiful plus I've seen some of the promo pictures where he's got this like amazing glitter on his eyes and you guys know how I feel about eye glitter all about eye glitter love my eye glitter so at some point this palette will be mine I'm just not going to purchase it to review it right away because I'm not going to be here for the next few weeks next we have this from NARS they are coming out with a new body oil and this time it is an orgasm body oil first of all whenever NARS launches these body oils they smell so good every time they've launched one of these in the past i love the smell i love the shine i love the beautiful glowy finish that they give your skin if you are into body oils for the formula i already know that this is going to be an amazing product will i buy it that is the question isn't it I think I want to see it in person and try it out and see exactly how this looks swashed on the skin because in the pictures on the Trendwood page it is not swashed on the skin yet so I want to see how it looks before I buy it and also I want to make sure that it isn't tacky although I feel like the ones I've tried in the past are not tacky. I'm not sure if I'm going to buy it because I don't know how much skin I'll be showing this summer either. <laughs> but it definitely is an intriguing product to me. And I love the aesthetic of it. The packaging looks so freaking beautiful. This next one I was so, so tempted by. Gucci came out with a whole new line of liquid lipsticks. Now these are 
matte finish liquid lipsticks and each one of these retails for $42. So because as of lately, I have not been in a matte liquid lipstick type of mood, I've been more so into balms and glosses and shiny things on my lips. I did skip on these. I was so tempted during the whole time where the Sephora Springs Avings event was happening. I was like, every time I ordered something, and I did place like four different orders. <laughs> Every time I ordered something, I was like adding and taking away the Gucci lipsticks from my cart. Like, do I try them? No. Do I try them? No. Maybe next time. And then I kept putting it in and out of my cart. I'm deciding against them. I have to see some reviews before I go for them. They have a pretty okay range of colors. Of course, the packaging looks absolutely stunning. But as of right now, I did decide to skip on them. And then they also came out with an eyeliner. The eyeliner retails for $38. The packaging doesn't even look bougie enough to justify that price. And I personally don't wear eyeliner that often. So the eyeliner was a no-brainer. I was never interested. Still not interested in it. But the lipsticks truly did tempt me. P. Louise came out with these stunning pastel products for Easter. They have double-ended liquid liners for $15, wet and set liquid eyeshadows for $14, and I absolutely love the swatches of these. And I might not be much of like a black eyeliner person, but I do love my colorful pastel eyeliners. Like I really loved the Encanto purple eyeliner. Oof. That was beautiful. So I don't know if I'm buying this or not, but I'm definitely very, very tempted. I never try and review P. Louise products and I'm always extremely tempted to do so. So if you have any like favorite P. Louise products that you recommend for me to try, definitely let me know in the comments down below because I might do like a brand review one day and just buy a bunch of P. Louise products to try them. I'm always very intrigued to try the products that they come out with and for some reason never go for it. These colorful liquid eyeliners though look so tempting to me and so do the cream eyeshadows. I'm just not sure exactly how I would use them. Plus I feel like they've stepped up their packaging aesthetics a lot as well. I'm very tempted by this launch. Definitely very tempted. Definitely let me know down in the comment section if this is something that you would like to see featured on my channel. Next, we have some more Gucci. So Gucci is also coming out with a glow hydrating mist for $76. I don't know if it's got gold flakes in there, but $76 seems to be quite a price for a face mist. It says prep, set, or refresh the skin hybrid product formulated with soothing, protecting, and setting. That's all it says on here. And it says coming soon. And then they have this very bougie looking nourishing balm for $50. $49 to be specific, but... <gasps> I don't know. I guess I'm just not that much of a luxury review channel because it hurts me to pay that amount of money for those super plain looking products. I said what I said. The packaging of that balm, beautiful, but but I also don't see any gold flakes in there. <laughs> I feel like if Gucci comes out with products that I'm like actually like attracted to, like when they did their primer, their foundation, I wanted to try them, I bought them. I ended up not liking the foundation, but loving the primer. Um, etc. I love their lipsticks. I just I need to be attracted to the product in order to like even Spend my money on their products and this 70 how much $76 Mist it's not doing it for me and neither is the lip balm Here is a product that I'm actually pretty excited about when does this come out because as soon as it comes out I want to buy it it just says coming soon for the time being, but Beauty Blender is coming out with these duos and they are a cream, bronzer, and highlighter duo. I love the packaging from what I can see in this picture. They're going to come out with four different colors at first. I am interested. I will be purchasing this and I will be trying it out. 
It doesn't say here when it's coming out yet. It just shows you some swatches. The swatches look very, very promising. I think if I were to buy it, I would definitely go for the Pearl Buff shade, which is the lightest one of them all, because the second color, the taupe has a bronzer, maybe a little bit more yellow than I prefer. But as far as the swatches go, even though it's just for colors, they seem to have a really nice range in the colors. The swatches of the cream bronzer look very, very nice and buttery. The highlighter looks pretty. The packaging is pretty. This is going to retail for $32, which is not bad for two products in one. I'm excited about it. I definitely, definitely want to give this Beauty Blender Magic Fit Creamy Bronzer and Highlighter Duo a try. Next product on my list is from KVD Beauty. They are coming out with new pencil eyeliners. and um, These are the ones that you have to sharpen. They are called the Tattoo Pencil Eyeliner. An ultra smooth, transfer resistant gel pencil, waterproof, all day wear, sets fast to lock in place on the eyelids or in the waterline. Pigmented, easy to use, versatile, you can smudge it, etc. Matte finish, $22, 10 shades. This one comes out April 11th, so yesterday for you, tomorrow for me. And it comes in a variety of dark, grungy shades. I really, really, really was hoping for some more colorful colors in this one because I feel like I have every single one of these colors in my eyeliner collection already and so therefore it's not like I need them but I do want to try them. You know what? I don't have a vibrant blue eyeliner like the one in the picture because I do from Fenty but it looks super dry and it is not creamy at all and I kind of hate it so I think I'm going to try the bright blue one just to try their formula and then if I love it in the future whenever I need a new eyeliner in any of those colors I might get another one but just to try their formula I think I'm going to get that bright blue one because why not but yes I feel like they literally went for like all of the basic eyeliner colors they didn't do anything super fun or vibrant which is what i am wanting right now i want some colorful fun pastel colors for my waterline i've definitely been having a blast with the ones from nyx the epic wear ones love those so I would love to see more of that. MAC is coming out with a whole new lipstick collection. It is called the Powder Kiss Velvet Blur Slim Stick from MAC Cosmetics. It comes in 12 shades. It doesn't say the release date yet. It just says coming soon. And uh, I mean, the packaging looks nice and slick. And the colors look like a bunch of nudes with very minimal pops of color. So right up my alley. <laughs> I'm not sure if immediately, but at some point, I will definitely try and give these a chance. On the model, I really like that like powdery feel on the lips. It looks like velvety. Really nice, really nice. Sigma is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette. It looks like rose-toned shades. It's already available. The eyeshadow palette retails for $49. They have five new blushes, glosses, liquid lipsticks, a bunch of things. You can get the full collection for $146. I don't usually cover Sigma all that often on my channel, but this actually looks like a release that I would want to try. I just am a sucker for like pinky nudes, mauves, and burgundies, and that is exactly what this palette has. So let me know if this is something that you would like to see on my channel. I love that they have a really good quality brush in that palette as well. I'm, I'm looking at it and I like it. So yes, definitely let me know down in the comment section if this would be something that you would want me to cover. Tom Ford has some new products. Now I have the picture of all of like their new things. Oh my God, actual gold flakes in a bougie product. I was joking earlier with Gucci and their prices, but this Tom Ford lipstick actually has gold flakes in it. <laughs> and it retails for $58. I don't think that the lipstick and the body oil are new, but I think that that Tom Ford blush shade is new. It is an $84 blush duo, but I'm honestly very tempted to try it. And you guys know I usually don't go for Tom Ford and they're like very expensive eyeshadow palettes because for the most part, I feel like I can get very similar quality with something that is not 
as expensive, but I feel like the quality and presentation of that Tom Ford blush duo tempts me. It looks pretty enough that I feel like it might actually be worth it. What do you guys think? I'm definitely very tempted to try that blush duo because it just looks like a subtle, sheeny, natural looking blush and I'm all about it. Do I go for it? I don't know. Definitely let me know if you would like me to try that. I'm very, very tempted. <laughs> Just two more products left. Christian Louboutin, is that how you say that? I'm not sure. Beauty is introducing their first ever cushion foundation, SPF 30. It is going to pre-sell in Japan on the 15th of April. And I put this product in here because I wanted to show you guys the stunning packaging that they came out with for it. It is very, very bougie looking. I don't see the price on this yet, but by the look of the diamonds inside that packaging for presentation, it probably will be pretty expensive. Are they coming out with five whole shades? That is scandalous. I'm not going to be trying this, by the way. I don't care what the price is. Five shades? <laughs> Okay, you know what? Let's move on to the next product. And we're ending up on a good note today because the next product is from Huda Beauty, which you guys know is one of my favorite brands. And it looks like they're coming out with concealers. She has not launched a concealer in so many years. I never had her original concealer. I did used to use it on clients at Sephora all the time back when I worked there and it usually looked really good. I'm really hoping that it's going to be a full coverage concealer. By the way, this is from Angel Naked One. You can see it at the top of the picture right there, not from Trend Mood. Huda Beauty has a really great shade range, so I'm sure she's not going to disappoint in that sense and I'm also guessing that it's going to be a full coverage concealer. I can't wait to try this. I really hope that she continues to do the natural looking makeup that she's been doing lately and so I have very very high expectations for this concealer although I usually have very high expectations for a lot of concealers and they for the most part all fail me but that's okay. I am a believer. <laughs> Um, and so I can't wait to try this one. I'll definitely buy it and review it when it comes out. So that is everything I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Let me know down in the comment section what products you want me to try. And also, please let me know if there's something that I didn't mention that I should be trying. Like last month when I did this video, you guys let me know about the Heather Austin palette, which I did end up ordering, but I haven't gotten it yet. Um, so if I missed any new releases that you want me to cover, just let me know. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe before you leave. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for being here and I hope to see you back in the next video. <laughs> Bye.